Hi guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm back in the van. That was a Gilda reference if you watch old movies like I do. Anyway, where do I start? Those of you who follow me on Instagram, the cool ones, the ones who want to be cool can follow me now. Uh, there's also a link in the bio. Last time I built this van out and lived in it for quite a while and then I, it got cold out so I moved back home, decided to stay in my apartment for the winter, be with friends and family, that kind of thing. And uh, let's see. And so I was home, I was traveling a little bit, I was in Costa Rica, doing all the things that are on my YouTube channel, essentially, and then, should I just shimmy a little more? That's fun. About a month and a half, two months ago, I decided I wanted to go travel kind of around the world for a little bit. I went to London, Mykonos, Santorini, Corfu, Turkey, and Hong Kong, and all of those videos are the past like five videos, I think. So I just got back, and right before that trip, I had decided to just completely get rid of my apartment. So I packed everything up. My friend has now taken over the lease, so she lives there. And she also has my plants hostage, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> Amanda, if you're watching this, you, you need to let me come over and get my plants. So when I came back from that trip, I just came right back into my van. Right now, I'm just parked at my dad's house, so I'm in his driveway. I've been living I've been living out here in his driveway for about two weeks now and it's great because I have access to a shower and unlimited coffee. And I'm just kind of sticking around Minnesota for until July 15th-ish. I've got a lot of weddings going on, friends are getting married, people are growing up. So I'm just sticking around for that, enjoying the Minnesota summer weather because it's some of the best weather ever. Since I've been back, I've just been cleaning out the van because it was in winter mode. I wasn't living in it. I was just using it as a vehicle. So it's kind of dirty and didn't have any of my stuff in it. Since I was cleaning it out and doing all that, I was like, hey, you know what I could redo is that first video I ever made that I got so much shit for is the van tour video that I, it was the first video I ever put out. I got so many comments about all the likes, all the ums, all of the shitty, just everything was shitty. It was shitty. I'd never talked to a camera before. I, like, I still suck at talking to a camera, but I really sucked at talking to a camera. I didn't edit anything. I think I slapped some music on there and then I just uploaded it. And here we are today. It was terrible. So I'm kind of redoing it right now. I think this one will be a little cuter. So let me know. Also, sorry I keep doing this. I talk with my hands a lot. Like I said, my friend has my plants hostage. Normally there's a lot of really pretty vines in here, which I love and they're like my babies, but all right, let me show you around. Okay, so I'll start with my fridge situation. This is my fridge. I bought almost all this stuff on Amazon. I'll just put links in the bio and you guys can check them out if you're interested. My fridge is a Dometic fridge, so, I mean, it's this big. <laughs> Fits in my little space right here. And it's just connected to my battery, and there's a whole video on my battery, how I hooked it up, all of that business, way back on my channel. Check it out. My whole build was about roughly $6,000, including buying the van. I think two of the biggest investments that are actually in the van right now are the tile counter which was excessively expensive i think it was like 250 dollars necessary for the build no whatever i like it and then the fridge i think was 500 something i'll tell you i'll put it here best investment i think in the van that i've had though it connects to my battery it runs on so little energy it really doesn't wear down my battery at all. I think it goes through cycles of being cold. So it'll it'll get cold, it'll run for a little bit, and then it'll stop running and just kick in when, it, when the temperature starts decreasing. It holds a lot more food than I thought it would. I've loved it. I like cold food, so it's been great. Right next to the fridge, I've got my miscellaneous kitchen. Random crap. <laughs> I've got my camping stove, pots, pans, water kettle.
And then we've got my toiletry, my toiletry cabinet, which is basically just all my shower stuff, my jewelry, my kind of girly shit. And then the fun drawer, which is just so ridiculous. I've got an entire drawer just dedicated to clothes and shoes. So my clothes are in the section of the van where I can get at them. I can pull the drawer into the van and basically I just have a million and one clothes. In the back of my van, pulling out the left side drawer, I can't actually get to this drawer from the interior of my van. It's just not stuff that I use on a daily basis. So most of my drawer in here is just utility drawer and it's got my tools, my tire iron, my socket set, you know, that kind of boring stuff. And then the front end of this utility drawer tends to be my like play outside stuff like hammocks and like blow up floaty things and goggles. And then I've got my ice skates. That is all I have for you. This video kind of feels like a recap of the van tour I did, but I'm hoping that it was just a little better executed and kind of showed more of what's actually in my van and how much I can fit in here. It's a small space, but I feel like I've got everything I could possibly need and probably more. I just don't feel like I'm sacrificing anything. I mean, maybe a bathroom. Like everybody's always, always like, Always, always. Everybody's always like, how do you go to the bathroom? My friends, I understand that people don't necessarily, I mean, I live in my own life, so it's it, everything seems very normal to me. But that question is so confusing to me because it's like, if you've ever been on a road trip, you know that there are bathrooms everywhere. If you're close to a city, there's usually somewhere 24 hours where you can stop in, go to the bathroom, a Walmart, a grocery store, a gas station. And if you're not close to a city, there's the great outdoors. I don't know, like it's not, it's not an issue. Anyway, I, yeah, I am gonna go. I'm gonna edit this video now and hopefully that addressed things. If you have other questions, if you have other videos you would like me to make, let me know in the comment section. I will try to make a video of my van build. I've gotten requested that a lot. And at first I was like, well, I can't, I already built it <laughs> but when I was building it I guess I grabbed a bunch of scrap footage for Instagram stories so I've got them all filmed horizontally I'll try to get that out at some point and show you guys how I did it and how it all came together anyway that's all I got to say to you guys so I hope you like my hair uh <laughs> yeah You're made for, and there's nothing that is too late for.